Hey fellow foodies! This month is all about Korean cuisine. First up is bulgogi, which is probably one of the most popular Korean dishes. It is thinly sliced marinated beef, usually cooked on the grill, but you can cook it on the stove top at home as well. First, we will start by chopping our vegetables. We need about 1 cup of chopped scallions and 1 onion thinly sliced. Then, we are going to add this to our marinade. We are also going to add in 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of mirin, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon sesame oil, 1 tablespoon sake, and 1 tablespoon of sesame seeds. Mix it all together, then we will add our thinly sliced beef. I'm using beef rib eye for this one, but you can also use beef brisket or sirloin. You can usually get this at your local Asian store pre-sliced for you. Then, gently mix them all together by hand so that we don't rip the meat apart since they are so thinly sliced. Oh, and I also forgot to add a pear. This is optional, but it helps tenderize your meat. I'm shredding half a pear. If you can find Korean pear, that would be best. Add this to your marinade and refrigerate for about an hour or better yet, overnight. Then, when your beef is ready, we will heat our pan and add some oil. Cook your beef for about 5-7 to seven minutes. Keep turning every so often so that they will cook as evenly as possible. You will know when it's done when you see some caramelization around the edges of the beef. This dish is typically served over white rice and I'm also adding a couple of side dishes and they're both very easy to make. Sigumchi namu which is cooked and marinated Korean spinach. I parboil 3 cups of spinach and squeeze out the water, then chop them into smaller bites. Add 1 teaspoon of salt and pepper, half a tablespoon of sesame seeds that I grounded up, and half a tablespoon of sesame oil, and then mix it by hand. I also made some musang cha, which is seasoned Korean radish salad. Cut your radish in julienne, add 1 tablespoon gochugaru, 1 tablespoon sugar, 1 teaspoon minced garlic and half a tablespoon rice vinegar. Mix and combine and add 1 teaspoon of sesame seeds for garnish. I hope you give this one a try and let me know how you like it. Please click like, subscribe, and I hope you also share this video. And as always, thanks for watching!